So in this video, I'm going to be installing the Linux Pub OS operating system in a Lenovo laptop. So this is the website. I'm going to click on download. Now there's some options to download here. There's download the regular and this is the version 22.04. And the second option is to download the operating system with NVIDIA support. So I don't have an NVIDIA card. So I'll choose the first option and it's downloading. So these are the recommended specs. So I'm going to be using Rufus to create the bootable drive for Pop OS, And you want to download the exe file here. I already downloaded it. So this is the Rufus exe file. And this is the Pop OS ISO file. So I'm going to open up Rufus. So the size of the USB drive is 16 gigabytes. I'm going to click on select. Click on the ISO file. Click open. I'll click OK. And I'll click start. So everything in the USB drive will be erased. I'm going to click OK and it's creating the bootable USB drive. So the bootable USB drive was created and completed. I'm gonna click close, and then I'm gonna take this USB drive and boot up the Lenovo laptop. So I booted up the laptop into BIOS, and I wanna make sure that secure boot is disabled. I'll click on setup. I'll click on secure boot and secure boot is disabled. So I'm going to restart the laptop and hit the F12 key on the keyboard and boot from the USB. So here I have to select a language. English is selected as the default and you can choose whatever language you would like here. I'm going to click on select. So I'm going to leave it as the United States. Click select. So this is the keyboard layout. So I'm going to leave it as English US. Also, if you want to type the test here layout, you can do that here. I'll click select. I'm going to leave here as default. Click select. So on this install page, this is the hard drive partitions. So there are two options here. I can do a clean install and this will erase everything in the hard drive and install a fresh copy of Pop OS. So the second option, custom, here you can create, resize, or manage partitions, and you can partition the hard drive manually. I'm going to do a clean install. I'll select it, click clean install. So here's where I have to select the drive. I only have one drive. I'm going to select it, and I'll click erase and install. So here I have to create a user account. So in the full name section, I'm going to type John. And the username is also going to be John. I'll click next. I'll type a password. I'll retype the password. Click next. So here I can configure drive encryption password. If I want a password for the drive, I'm going to select don't encrypt. And it's installing. So to continue setting up, I need to restart. I'll click restart. So I restarted the laptop. I'm going to log in. So this laptop has touchscreen capabilities. So when I'm finished with the installation, I'm going to test the touchscreen. So this is the welcome page. So this is the dock settings. So there are three options here. No dock. Dock extends the edges or dock doesn't extend the edges. So I'm going to leave it as default. I'll click next. So this is where I have to configure the top bar. And this is the top bar here. It has a clock in the middle, applications and workspaces on the left, on the right, the speaker and network icons. So it says show workspaces button. I can turn that off or on. The same is with the applications. I can turn that off or on. And the date and time and notifications positions. Right now it's in the center. There's a drop down tab and I can change that. I'll click next. So this is the open and switch applications from the launcher. So I can just show any one of these just by pressing a combination of key on the keyboard. For example, desktop control one, camera control two. I'm going to leave it as default. Click next. This is use gestures for easier navigation. I'm going to click next. So this is the appearance. There are two options, light or dark. I'm going to select light. Click next. So here I can configure the Wi-Fi. But right now the Lenovo laptop is connected via Ethernet cable. I'll skip this. On the privacy page, location services. I'll leave it as disabled. Click next. So I have to type my time zone. I'll type New York. And this is Eastern time. 
click next. So here is where you can connect your online accounts. I'm going to skip this and it says it's all done. I'm going to click start using pop OS. So on the dock, there are some icons here. The first one is show launcher. So here I can just search for app. I just have to type it here. This is the show workspaces icon. I'll click on that. So this grid icon will show applications. I'm going to click on it. And these are the applications. Here's a calculator. I'll click on the calendar and I can configure this calendar by week, month or year. This is the files folder. This is the Gary app. This is the email and client. This is the settings icon. This is the terminal app. This is a text editor. I'm going to click on settings. So there's desktop options. So here I can configure the desktop. I can configure the icons. I can configure the top bar to show the workspaces button or the applications button. And this is the windows control section. So I'll click on background. I can change the background here. I'm going to choose this background. This is the appearance configuration. There's only light and dark. I'll click on dark. And here I can configure the icons on the dock, extend the dock to the edges of the screen. I can show launcher icon on the dock. I can turn that off. I can also show the mounted drives. I can turn this off. I can turn it back on. So this is the dock visibility, always visible. I can hide it just by clicking here. I can show the dock on display, primary display or all displays. I'll click all displays. I can change the size of the dock here. I can change the position of the dock here. Right now it's on the bottom of the screen. I can select here and it will be on the left side. I can change it to the right side. I'm going to leave it at the bottom of the screen. And you can align the dock icons here. Right now it's in the center. So there's center, start and end. So I'll click on the show applications icon. There's home, there's office, there's system, utilities. And here I can create a new folder. I'll click on office and LibreOffice is installed. These are the different type of apps in LibreOffice. I'll open LibreOffice Writer. So this is a document writer. So I'll click on the system folder. And these are the apps that are in the folder. There's utilities. And these are all the utilities app. Yeah, so there's an image viewer. So you can view PNG or JPEG files. This is a video app. I can create a folder just by clicking create folder. I'll type folder one. Click create and it created the folder here. So I can also rename these folders. For example, the system folder. I can just click on this pen icon and rename it here. I can also delete it. And it says deleting this folder will move the application icons to the library home. I'll click cancel. So this is the files folder. And in the files folder, these are the basic folders. Music pictures, desktop documents. This is the settings icon. I can configure a Bluetooth device. So this is the notification settings. And I can configure notifications for all applications here. This is the applications and these are a list of all the applications here. And here you can configure file history and track. And under file history duration, I can change that to forever, one day, seven or 30 days. I'll leave it as forever. And here you can clear the history and you can configure to delete the trash. I can empty the trash here, delete temporary files. I'll click on screen. I can configure the blank screen delay. Automatic screen lock, I can configure that here. So there's a lot of features here. There's sharing. I can configure remote desktop. Right now it's off, so I just have to turn sharing on here. And I can configure remote desktop and media sharing. I'm going to leave that off. This is the sound settings. This is the power settings. This is the display settings. I can also mirror the display. This is the mouse and touchpad settings. I can also configure printers. I can add printers. So if I click on users, I can also add users. I can also rename the username here. So this is the default applications. I can configure the web. For example, if I have more than one internet browser, I can set it here. So this is the upgrade and recovery. 
and I can configure the updates here. Automatic updates, I can turn it on. And the time and day I would like to install it automatically, I can configure that here. And I can also show update notification. I can configure that. So on the top menu bar, I have the battery icon, speaker, and network icon. I just have to click on the battery icon and I can lock the computer. I can power it off. I can configure the Wi-Fi here. So also I can right click the desktop, I can create a new folder, I can arrange icons, I can show desktop files, open and terminal, change background, and I can also configure the desktop icon settings, I'll click on that, and here I can configure the desktop icons, size for the desktop icons, I can change that, so there's a lot of options here. So this is a Lenovo laptop that I installed top OS in. So it has an on-screen keyboard. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.